Oh my gosh. Hi guys. Um, I feel like we've done these kind of videos before when I'm in a hotel on my travels. As you know, my job takes me all around the world, all over the country. And it means that I'm in hotels for like 95% of my time. And I'm currently in a hotel in London away for work on a huge shoot. So I've got to be here for a few days. So it means that I don't have my ring light. I can't really use my camera right now. So we're just talking me and you on my iPhone right now and I can't edit this video because I can't really do all of that but I just need to get these words out to you so I just thought V do it old school style just get the phone set it up and let's just chat and just have your little clicker with you so I have major news and I'm about to tell Instagram like right now so I thought you know what if I'm about to tell Instagram I've got to tell YouTube and if I wait till I get home you guys won't get to know this for a while so anyway that's the background of why we're in this setting but i have a really exciting news you know how we've got these goals these 10 goals for the new year and as i tick them off i'm giving you updates you guys guessed and this is the thing this is the thing i can't lie to you guys about anything not that i lie but like i can't hide anything from you guys every time i'm like oh i'll tell you later someone in the comments is like Da -da 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 -da. i've already guessed what it is this is what it is and then you literally tell everybody what it is before i tell them and i'm like how did you know i've just realized that i can't lie to you guys not lie i can't hide anything from you guys so yeah here we are i guess that's the whole point of being besties you know your besties very well so what has happened is <sighs> drum roll please girls and boys ladies and gentlemen friends and family so i've got an my phd Woo! which you already knew i already told you that i got into my phd but what i didn't tell you is i've got full tuition funding and i got in last year april so i got in on april the 7th 2022 which is like the night before my birthday and I was like what the heck I've gotten my PhD and I was so excited because I thought oh I can go this year like I'm off I'm out of here like August 2022 police cars out there August 2022 I'm out of here then my degree people told me like no 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 we do an intake every two years so actually you're starting next year in 2023 and that rocked my world I was like <laughs> I had plans to do this in August 2022 and like to be living in the US by this point and to be gone but unfortunately I had to wait because that's just how the course intake works that's what they do so I was like okay so I don't have funding right now and I've got this whole two years what well, I had to wait from April 2022 up until August 2023 so like a year and a bit I thought V if you've got this time every rejection is a redirection we obviously got rejected by nyu whatever we don't care but <laughs> i do i did care but um every rejection is a redirection because now you've gotten into this amazing school which i'm going to tell you what the name of the school is in a sec you got into the amazing school you've got this amazing course that you've fallen in love with which allows you to both work and study we can do another video on the whole course if you want but got into this amazing course at this amazing school but you haven't got full funding so actually this time that you've got up until you've got to go for a phd this is the time for you to be finding funding and for you to be like getting it together so that you don't have to pay for this degree and i always knew that i might like end up paying for my living expenses like my apartment or maybe like you know my books and my food but i was always like the tuition i wasn't going to compromise on the tuition because i just i just knew like there's funding out there and i was going to find it so I spoke to my university a lot of back and forth I do not want to say it was easy at all because it wasn't a lot of backs and forth of me being like guys like come on the cost of this degree like can we figure it out can we do this can we try this and at first they were like nope nope we've got nothing like no 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 then this lovely subscriber a lovely subscriber had seen my acceptance letter and they like read the words and then they figured out what the school was I don't I don't even know how they just figured out the name of the school even though I scribbled everything out then they were like V by the way go and check out oh they go to that school <laughs> that's why so they re they recognized the wording of how their acceptance letter looked as well and they were like V there are all these other pots of funding look at this link look at this link look at that link she literally sent me like maybe like 50 links of like different things to look at and 
you know me i thanked her so much i was like oh my god you're amazing and i went to work and then i found ways of like getting my university to give me a really really good fellowship so i got this education fellowship which is really really cool and um yeah i need to cough <laughs> And the thing is, I would have normally cut that out in editing, but I, have a, I can't edit this, so I'm sorry, I just had to cough. Anyway, so I got this education fellowship, and it was really good. Like, it covers a substantial amount, and it increases depending on how many courses and, like, um, things you take, so that's fine. But it still had a large chunk. Like, I can't even tell you how much this degree costs because it's it's a lot of money. So I still had a thousands and thousands and thousands a lot of thousands to still find for the rest of my tuition and i was like oh my god like what am i gonna do started talking to my mentor so the process of getting that funding for my school took from like april up until october in conversations in conversations trying to figure it out tweaking this tweaking that and i got the best package that they could offer at the school then I was still like, I still had half of it to find. And I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Then I started talking to people around me. And they were like, V, like, have you ever considered like a private sponsorship in a way? Like, you know, talking to like, I don't know, mentors or whoever, whoever, whoever. Long story short, because this is very boring. We need to get to the crooks of the story. Long story short, I spoke to my wonderful mentor. And she was like, oh my gosh, like, I love this. I'd love to support you. And we figured out a situation. And then she made a scholarship, which is amazing. And I'm the first to get this scholarship. It's in, I guess it's not in my name, but it's in my name in a way. And um, it covered the rest every single thing that I needed for my to have a full tuition scholarship so all my schooling all my studies all my books all my all that stuff sorted I still gotta figure out living expenses so if anybody wants to talk to me about like an apartment in a situation but at the same time I've been like V like that part like we can I can I think I can I can do that now do you know what I mean like that's the part where it's like an apartment and when I was living in London I was paying way more in London than I would for this apartment that I want to get in um at school so I've just been telling myself the whole reason you moved home was to save for your PhD and all the saving you've done for your PhD now you don't have to use it for your tuition you don't have to use it for any of that stuff now you can use that for your living and I think that's a fair um place to meet it's still expensive like it's still a good twenty three thousand dollars for living expenses which obviously it's a lot of money right but it's still manageable if you look at it per month it's about about a thousand something or whatever it is so i'll tell listen we'll do a whole video breaking down all the prices and costs if you want that you know me i'm open i'll tell you but bottom line is i've got funding I've got funding, I've got funding, I've got funding. I've got a scholarship, a full tuition scholarship, because I just can't believe it. Like, I can't believe it, but I've known for a while. Like, I found this out, what? And I was going to the school April 2022. I knew that I had funding from the school in October 2022. Then in January, we finalised on the dotted line on some other bits. Then I think it was February that I got my mentor to give me the rest of the funding, which is now February 2023. And now I'm telling you in April 2023. Like, I've just been taking my time to, like, you know, because there's no rush. I'm going in August 2023. There's no rush to say anything, but anyway something has came over me today and i'm like you know what let's just like let's talk about it let's tell everybody now like i was too excited and i want to start the vlogs i want to start the videos about like packing stationery like moving everything did i just did i just stop this recording no i didn't it's still recording i thought i pressed the button did you see it go blue as well let me put this down in fact um yeah so i can't wait for all of that like packing vlogs i want to sell everything because i know that the climate change to like going to los angeles is going to be so different to, like being in the uk so i'm gonna like sell stuff and like do clothes swaps and like you know figure it out and then i'm gonna get rid of all my cameras i just want to basically end up with like a suitcase worth of belongings instead of having all of this stuff in my mom's house in case i don't come back or in case i do come back but then i'm married like when i come back it's gonna be th listen we'll do a whole different video on how long this course is but it is three years it's three years um 
I'm just so excited and I've just been to LA if you got me on Instagram listen Instagram is where it's at that's where I tell everybody everything all the time whereas YouTube is like you have to plan a while so yeah uh-huh oh I'm going to Clermont I, I keep forgetting that I haven't told you guys I've been holding back on the school name just because I'm like I've told you this before but so many weird things have happened before when I've like shared school names or like classes that I'm taking and stuff like that like you guys I never shared that side of the internet with you because it's just like a bit down and depressing but like some weird things have happened people have, like they find your address or if, you, what if I share something like a letter and I scribble out certain things that I obviously don't want you to know because it's personal information like my address someone goes to like unscribble it you know like there are apps that let you do that so now i've learned how to block the apps that do that but like things like that so i'm just like oh do i want to share so much i, I want to tell you everything but then i'm worried that someone's going to do something weird with the info so i won't tell you what division i'm doing my phd and i won't tell you all that stuff until i'm at school because at least it like takes time away from someone doing anything i don't know what they could do but they could do something um but yeah i'm gonna be studying education leadership the phd in education at claremont university which is in los angeles i mean technically it's in claremont but it's like 10 minutes away from being in la so i'm just gonna go with la because it's easier um yeah i'm gonna be an la girl i'm gonna be a california girl like i'm gonna be a hey california girls whatever i'm just really excited um yeah that's it so i hope you guys are excited for this journey the study videos are gonna be back everything study is gonna be back i'm so excited because that's my happy place and um i'm gonna be 25 soon maybe by the time you watch this video i'll be 25 but if, while i'm filming this i'm 24 i'm 24 right now and apparently i'm the youngest on my course because they only take 20 people every two years and the average age is about 45 so i'm actually one of the youngest and a lot of them are like leaders in the district a lot of them are like you know heads of schools or in government or like super like private secret people so i mean make of that what you will i don't know what you want to make of that but that's it that's the 411 i'm gonna go now i love you so much and i'm so excited oh i'm so excited like oh i'm so excited i've literally been waiting for this for the whole year i've been waiting for this like i've been loving my channel don't get me wrong i love you guys all the time but i love it more when i'm in school i can't lie like my youtube channel was always made as a resource for when i'm in school and when i'm not in school i find it harder so now i'm just, like so excited to be back for the next three years and we're just gonna be doing this together oh that was loud we're doing this together and i go for a phd and i got funding ah, ah. So it's April, May, June, July, August, four more months to go and I'm moving away. If all goes well. Another thing I got scared of sharing for was I was like, but V, like what if something happens? Like what if you don't get to go? Like what if something goes wrong? I don't know. And I was just like, V, you teach everyone not to live in fear. And if something goes wrong, okay, but at least while you've got it, you better enjoy it. Like imagine that, not enjoying something while you have it in case it gets taken away. Then when it gets taken away, now it's taken away, but then you did have it, but you didn't enjoy it. I'm not doing that. I'm not that kind of girl. I'm not doing it so that's it that's me well oh oh my god i thought i turned it off again i need to i need to stop um but yeah thank you so much and i'll see you guys in the next video i literally thought i pressed that button once i press this it stops this recording and i can't edit this video so if i stop this then we don't have a video anyway thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video and i'm gonna go tell instagram now now that i've said it to you and I'm going to try to upload this tomorrow or right now. And then all is well. So bye. Love you. And I'll see you in the next video.